good to see that you're wearing a blues blues jersey. <laughs> yeah, I just I just had I just had one comment. Um, it was really a good game last uh, last week against Portland. Uh, I was really impressed with the style of play and and the and the goals that were scored were were unbelievable goals. They you know hard work and and great teamwork. Uh, did the feel did the team feel that they played a little bit better than they than they have because it looked like it was probably one of the better games that I've seen. Yeah, and and when you come off a loss and then have a uh, off weekend, you know it's it's. First of all, you have a lot of time and sometimes that a lot of time can, you know, you can work as much as you want on things, but it, it, it's difficult to come back and say, hey, we are learning our lessons. We are improving. We are getting better. To your point, I think that third goal we score is the best goal we've scored probably all year long. I, w- I was I was standing up cheering. I, I saw it. I saw it from right at this right angle. As soon as uh, as the play was developing, you know, in my head, I'm uh, I don't tend to joystick from the sidelines, but I was like, okay, play it there, play it there. They didn't do what I was actually thinking in my head because we played wide to Vitor, but Vitor played the next pass so brilliantly to to Kuz. That's what I was thinking in my head. Okay, we got to find Kuz on the weak side, and Vitor's pass to him was incredible the movement off of that ball and Kuz heading it back across the goals uh was was again you say teamwork I think it was phenomenal and executed at such a high level so yes I mean I'm so proud of the team that they respond from a uh a loss the previous game to come back and put on that kind of performance um when they know they needed to I think that resolve that shows our our quality, but it also shows a lot about our character. And it looked like you, you, you made a few changes in the lineup also. Yeah. We, you know, we, we changed a couple guys. Um, we got Max Schneider back, which is, and he's, he's a good player for us. Um, gives us a different look. Uh, you know, Ian McCrane gets his first start and goal played really well. Um, the only downside is that, you know, didn't like giving up that the goal we gave up, especially in the fashion in which we gave it up. And that, again, you know, we're not perfect yet. So, and, and I doubt we ever, ever will be, but um, we need to close out games, especially when it's 3-0. You know, we're kind of, we have control of it. I thought us losing control and specifically giving up a goal and, and not having Ian have a shutout in that game. Um, you know, that's... That's it, not. It was a pretty good goal, though. It was, but you know, I think we should. I think we should defend that better. And yeah. I think the defense yeah. had played so good up to that point. Um, and Ian being his first start, to, for him to have potentially gotten a shutout would have been so nice. Yeah. But it, it it lets me come back into the the locker room and the meeting room and and have something to be critical of. So yeah, uh, something understand. To make sure we build on. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jim. The next question is going to be from Tom Timmerman at St. Louis Post-Dispatch. Tom, go ahead and ask. Good morning, John. Good morning, Tom. Um, in Talking about the, the late goals, has there been a consistent thread to those goals in the, in the ends of games where you haven't been able to shut them down? Yeah, I mean, it, yes. Uh, when we look at it uh, from a, a tactical perspective, um, for whatever reason, when we've made some adjustments, we tend to then go from being on, in control of a game to allowing teams more time and space to attack us. And that's got to change. Um, that's not our intent, obviously. But since it has happened uh, on a number of, of occasions, um, our staff has talked a lot about how we manage the match um, with the players. Um, and any changes we make, does it have a negative impact? That's something that as a staff, you know, we've looked at really hard, both with the numbers, um, but going back in the, the games and, and looking at the film again and saying, what was it specifically um, making any kind of adjustment, um, whether that's, you know, a substitution, changing our formation uh, that allows at least 
for some reason, we think we're doing something that would shut down an opponent and it's literally done the opposite. Hmm. Um, and then just style of play wise, I mean, is, have you seen what you were hoping to see what the plan is, you know, the, the high pressing attack, is it, how well is that worked? Has it been accepted by the team and implemented? Yeah. I mean, the, the players have been fantastic. Um, again, we're, we're challenging them and to play this style. It's very demanding to say the least mm -hmm. physically it's, you have to be incredibly fit uh, to play this style, but more so mentally, you have to be tough enough to, and brave enough. We use the, the, the word brave a lot because you have to, you have to do mentally be so committed, um, to our style. Uh, there is little room for any indecisive moments. And that's really tough. Um, because the, the way, especially in our press, you know, we are, we're taking risk and we're taking risk farther up the field and, and any player, you know, they're a normal human. They don't want to look like they failed at something. So we, you know, again, ask our players to take risk. We ask them to be vulnerable. Um, we also talk about how we're going to be rewarded if collectively um, we do turn a team over high up the field. And, you know, we, we look at, than the stats. And we are one of the toughest teams to play in the league uh, by far. You know, we do not give our opponents time and space. There's a couple different metrics that measure that, but one is the, um, you know, passes uh, that our opponent make before we're making a defensive action against them. And right now, you know, we're leading the league in that category. So we're really proud of that. So the uh, interpret that, that analytic for me. So they're making, more passes? No, before? less. Less. So yeah. Our opponents make less. The statistically, our opponents per possession make the least number of passes before we have some defensive action against them. Okay, and 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 what does that say about your team? That we're really good at pressing. <laughs> that we're really good at taking away time and space. We're mm -hmm. we're the best in the league at it. So. Um, mm -hmm. it says that, you know, we are the style we're trying to implement, at least from that one metric and that one perspective, it's a pressing metric mm -hmm. tells us we're doing a really good job. Um, I'm supposed to only ask a couple of questions. So if someone else is in line, I will pass the baton, but if not, I have more. Go for it, Tom. Hey, uh, I should have asked about the other night, uh, on the goalies, uh, Creek wasn't on the list at all was is he okay what's there's something going on there yeah he's okay just trying to um take some precautionary uh you know the situation with with covid is still existing you know for all of us mm -hmm. and so just trying to be really proactive um and making sure our athletes are safe and and the, the other athletes uh are safe so uh mm -hmm. we feel like you know we, we did the right thing for both michael and for the rest of us Thank goodness he's fine, um, and we expect him to be back uh, this weekend and available. Yeah. Uh, what, if anything, do you know? I'm sure you know a lot about San Jose. Yeah, San Jose, it's going to be a really interesting game because we're very similar. Um, mm -hmm. They are really good. I think this they're uh, the same stat that I was referencing earlier, Tom. Mm -hmm. I think they're number five in the league. Um mm -hmm. And they're not far behind us, so you're gonna you're you're gonna have two teams that are playing very similar styles. Uh, mm -hmm. Probably the only difference, if you look at the the table right now, San Jose is not you know at the top of the table. But mm -hmm. when I've watched them and I've watched them a lot, you know, recently in preparation for for us to play them, mm -hmm. it, they have played so well um, in so many games. It's almost like how are they you know not being successful um but that's that's part of what this league is you know um there's an emphasis on player development there's an emphasis on how you play rather than the actual end result and so i think we're going to get a great opponent plays a very similar style to us um and you're going to get um you know a game where when when two teams that play similar you know something's got to give uh and we're certainly uh planning and preparing 
so that you know we we win those those battles and ultimately are successful at the end of the day is it the case have you seen are most mls next pro teams playing the same style as their parent club Ooh, that's a good question i would say most are and in this case san, san jose definitely is i mean they made a coaching change you know early in the season to the mls um and in fact, the guy that was the head coach of their two team is now the interim coach for the first team. But you can see now that the first team and the second team are playing very similar. Um, and that's reflective uh, in that. I would say, you know, you look at some of our previous opponents and maybe not as much, at least two of them I can think of. And I don't want to talk about that publicly, but two of them for sure are not doing that. Um, so I'll let you guys guess who they are. And since we probably have to play them a couple more times this year, I don't want to tell them either. Are you getting to the game tonight? I'm going to try. Really? Yeah. Yeah. My wife is kind of balking at the ticket price, but uh, <laughs> we're going to try to get in the building and support for sure. Your boss can't pull strings. The boss of bosses. I mean, I think the boss of bosses, I think I'm a little lower down that priority. <laughs> list. Uh, All right. Well, I hope you get a chance to get there. It should be interesting. It will be fun no matter what. Let's go Blues. All right. We'll go ahead and close out there for today. Uh, the match will be this Sunday at Herman Stadium at 7 p.m. and live streamed on MLSNextPro.com. Thank you.